Hey, what's up everybody? Name is Dirgefang, and today I'm bringing you another Linux Mint tutorial. This will be on the Software Manager, and I'll, I'll just be using um, Linux Mint Cinnamon for this one, since, I mean, I'll pretty much be repeating myself with, with, if I use the, if I also showed you the Linux Mint Mate version. It, uh, the process is pretty much the same, so don't worry about it. So the first thing you want to go do is go into the menu, and you want to find this symbol right here. It's the Software Manager. Or, or you can search for, for it, whichever one. But um, as what a software manager is, is pretty much a database of um, different programs that are just 100% compatible with your Linux operating system. So you don't have to worry about um, compatibility. You don't have to, it's a surefire way to find programs that are just compatible. I mean, that's, it's as simple as that, really. Uh, you may notice this little bar down here. I'm actually... Um, installing something right now so once you start installing you'll see this bar but here are the different menus as you can see there's 59,895 different programs that I could download currently so um, I, I won't be really going into much detail with each individual section um, on the internet tab you'll find different web browsers um, different chat options such as Skype file sharing such as FileZilla and Dropbox um, sound and video graphics, graphic editors like such as GIMP, Office software such as word processors, um, Excel, stuff like that, or, or things compatible, of course, or I mean, uh, like the Linux version of them. Um, games, um, accessories, system tools, fonts, science and education. For all you programmers out there, they do support different um, IDEs. They support Eclipse. I know they support. Um, Net means, but they also support a bunch of different ones that I've never really heard of heard before. But since I mainly just use those two I just mentioned, but say if you want to install something, um, I'll try it right now. Actually, I'll just go on the internet. As you can see, I've already installed a few things such as Opera. I've you can see if it's installed by the check box. Ah, check box. But um, yeah, let's try downloading a FileZilla. Zilla. I cannot talk today. But anyways, once you click on something, it'll bring you to this um, brief ex explanation of what the program does or how to install it in some cases. And it also provides you with a website in some cases. Different details um, such as version, size. It also has reviews right here. So if you want to figure out if the product is worth downloading, you just look at some of these reviews. Um, you can't submit your own review until you actually install it. So let's get to it. You just want to click install and type in your password and it is as simple as that it'll start um, installing here there we go it's currently installing so say if you already have something installed you just want to get out out of this go on to menu and it, there we go <laughs> and go to the search bar um, I know I installed Opera which is a different web type of web browser and as you can see I'll click on right now and there we go. Here's I didn't actually complete the installation, but yeah, here we go. That is pretty much it. So if you guys like the videos, feel free to like it, subscribe to me, and I'll see you guys later.